Are you using Salesforce to help you manage and organize your data? How would you like to be able to knock out your outbound calls at a rate of 60 to 80 dials an hour? Let's go back in time and I'll show you exactly how easy it is for you to install the foam burner power dialer into your Salesforce environment, which will allow you to knock out your quota in hours instead of days, helping you get more done in less time and putting more money in your pocket, right? So let's get started. Here we are in Salesforce. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do before we can start powering through our calls using PhoneBurner is we need to get the PhoneBurner app installed in Salesforce. Super easy to do, and we just need to go to the Salesforce App Exchange to begin that process. So we're going to click on the little dots up here, and we're going to click on the Visit App Exchange button. Here we're going to do a quick search for PhoneBurner. Once we find the PhoneBurner app, let's go ahead and open it up. And we're going to click on Get It Now. We'll have to log in. And we'll have to go to the actual App Exchange site. So let's do that. Now, here I want to point out real quickly you'll notice that we have a five star rating. And after you install the app and you see how much time you save with PhoneBurner, I'd love to see you come back to the App Exchange and provide your own review of the PhoneBurner Power Dialer tool. But let's go ahead and click on the Get It Now button. Now you'll have the option to install in production or sandbox, totally up to you. However, if you install in sandbox, you'll have to make a slight adjustment to your account in PhoneBurner. Our support team will be happy to help you with that. And then once you move to production, you'll just reverse it. So super easy. But I'm going to click on install in production. You'll need to verify that all your contact information is up to date. Check that you have read and agree to the terms and conditions. Click on confirm and install. I recommend that you install for all users. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to pay for PhoneBurner for every user in your Salesforce account. This just makes PhoneBurner available to all users. You'll still pick and choose which users will have accounts on the PhoneBurner system. But by installing for all users, it just makes it super easy as far as permissions are concerned when you're activating PhoneBurner in individual user accounts. So I highly recommend that you click on the Install for All Users. And then you're going to click on the Install button. Mine currently says Upgrade because I already have it installed. And that will begin the process of installing the PhoneBurner app into your Salesforce environment. It will literally take just a minute or two for the application to be installed into your Salesforce environment. And then you'll be able to start taking advantage of PhoneBurner. In some cases, the install may take a little bit longer than a couple minutes. No big deal. Just click on the Done button. Once it's completed, you'll see PhoneBurner listed as an installed package in your Salesforce environment. And once this is completed, you should be ready to start smiling and dialing using the power of PhoneBurner. So let's go start a dial session right now. We're going to click on the little nine dots in the upper left-hand corner. We're going to go to the Sales app. Now, PhoneBurner allows you to dial from the leads or contacts object. So I'm going to go to the contacts object. From here, I'll load a view or a list of contacts that I want to call. So I'm going to choose my demo contacts. Once I've loaded that view, I can then select all of the records in that view, or I can cherry pick records from that view. And then I can begin a dial session. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see this little arrow. And you'll see the Begin PhoneBurner Session button. Click on that and then start my dial session. That's going to pop up your dial session window where you'll enter your username and password for PhoneBurner. If you've not set up your PhoneBurner account, you will need to go to PhoneBurner.com and create your PhoneBurner account. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Now one of the powerful aspects of PhoneBurner is we allow you to create voicemails that you can instantly drop as you're making your phone calls. So you can select a voicemail at the start of the dial session here. These voicemails can be recorded within your PhoneBurner account or within the PhoneBurner app in Salesforce. And now I just need to get connected to the PhoneBurner system. One of the coolest things about PhoneBurner is it works with any existing phone system. And the way you connect your phone to the PhoneBurner system is with a simple phone call. So I'm just going to take this phone number and I'm going to call it using my normal phone. Once I call that number, I will then be connected to the PhoneBurner dial session. So my phone will be connected to PhoneBurner, 
And going forward, I'm going to talk to people through my phone like I normally would. However, I'm going to manage the calls on screen through the phone burner dial session window. So now I'm connected. I hit start dialing. And here you can see the contact record, the details for the contact that I'm calling are up on the screen where I can easily view and edit these details. Now, if I'm calling somebody and it goes to voicemail, I just click that voicemail button and I'm able to move on to the next call, all while phone burner will stay connected, wait for the beep, and play my recorded voicemail. I can create as many voicemail buttons as I'd like, and I can assign different audio files to those voicemails. So let's say that one goes to voicemail as well. So now I'm off to the next call. Here I am calling Jeff Sample. Let's say Jeff Sample doesn't an answer and it goes to voicemail. I can hit the voicemail button. And you'll see here, any contact with multiple phone numbers, the system will just call through all of the numbers associated with that record, one after the other, or it'll move on to the next contact based off of how you configure your disposition buttons, these buttons down here across the bottom of the screen. Here we are calling our next contact. If somebody answers the phone live, there's no pause, there's no delay, there's no awkward silence. You just click the live answer button, and when you're done talking to them, you click the end this call button. So you'll talk to the contact like you normally would, right through your phone. You're going to hear them right through your phone. So you're able to immediately have that conversation without any of those awkward pauses that you may have experienced with other dialers that are out there. Now, I do want to point out if there's ever something that you need to do within this record that you don't have access to when you're making calls using PhoneBurner, you can always click on this Edit in Salesforce link, which will jump you directly to that record in the Salesforce environment, giving you full access to everything that Salesforce has to offer within your Salesforce account. As you're making these calls in your dial session, PhoneBurner is also automatically logging these calls within the record in Salesforce. So here you can see back in October, I called this record and I clicked the Spanish voicemail button. That call was automatically logged in Salesforce. And on that date, I moved on to the next call. I did not have to come and do anything in Salesforce to get this call logged within the system. Now, because PhoneBurner is automatically logging these calls as completed activities or tasks within Salesforce, you can even take advantage of Process Builder to build out your own processes within Salesforce based off the dispositions or buttons you click on during the dial session. So not only can you create custom buttons, let me bring those back up on the screen, you can create all these custom buttons that really match your workflow, the process that you're trying to follow within your sales funnel. And then you can have Process Builder on the back end in Salesforce automatically reviewing every task that PhoneBurner logs within Salesforce to update that record even more than what's automatically being done, giving you full flexibility in how PhoneBurner interacts with your data in Salesforce. So let's say I talk to Jeff and we set an appointment. So I click the set appointment button and I'm off to the next call. If I'm calling somebody, they don't answer, click the no answer button, just like the voicemail button. I'm just going to click the dispositions on the screen that make the most sense based off the outcome of the call. It goes to voicemail, so I click the voicemail button. Now I'm calling Sally Prospect. Let's say she doesn't answer, so I hit the voicemail button again. You can see how this is really going to start saving you a lot of time. You're not going to have to listen to the voicemails to completion. You're going to be able to just jump on to the next call right away. But let's say this contact answers the phone live. So I click the live answer button. Phone burner also has the ability to transfer calls. You can transfer calls to anybody, whether they have a phone burner account or not. You just have to create what's called a transfer agent within the phone burner system. Tell us what phone numbers you'd like us to be able to transfer those calls to, and we will do what's called a warm transfer between you, the contact, and your transfer agent. Let's mark Ryan is not yet interested, and let's move on to our next call. Let's say Heather doesn't answer, so she's a voicemail. We click the voicemail button. 
which is going to be very common. A lot of calls that you make will go to voicemail. Let me show you that transfer option one more time. So I'm going to click on live answer, click on transfer call, and let's say I wanted to transfer this call to Jeff. When I click that transfer option and I start to call a transfer agent, the contact will be put on hold while the system calls the transfer agent, which is calling me right now. You can probably hear my cell phone ringing. So I'm going to answer that call. Now I'm connected to my transfer agent. I can bounce back and forth between my contact and the transfer agent, putting the other on hold. And when I'm ready to connect us all together, I click on this Merge Calls button. That's going to bring us all together. I'll be able to introduce my prospect to my transfer agent. And then when I'm ready, I can leave the bridge. When I leave the bridge, my transfer agent and my prospect will remain connected. I'll be able to update the record right here in the dial session window. And then I can disposition the call and move on to the next call, all while my transfer agent and my prospect continue to do what they need to do to close the business. And then our last one here, let's say we leave a voicemail for Cassie. You'll see Cassie has multiple phone numbers. As long as I'm clicking on dispositions that are configured to move on to the next phone number, if there are additional phone numbers, the system will just start going through each of these numbers. And your contacts can have as many phone numbers as you need, and the system will just keep calling through them. So here you can see I've actually just made, what, four phone calls to Cassie, and it left four different voicemails. Let's say this is another voicemail. We click that button. Now we're on to the last phone number. And you can set up different voicemails so that you can leave different voicemails on each different number. Now once you've made all of your calls, once you've completed the entire session, you'll get a summary of everything that you did during that dial session. So as you can see, you can literally have the phone burner power dialer installed and running in your Salesforce environment within minutes. Now obviously you're not going to understand how to do everything right out the gate. And we don't expect you to. You're going to want to configure those dispositions so that you have the right buttons on the screen for what you're doing. You might even want to set up your dispositions to trigger an email based off the button you click on. You'll want to record a voicemail or multiple voicemails on your account. And we've got your back. Let me close this window out and let me pull up a phone burner account. In your phone burner account, you'll see this support tab right here. Phone burner offers phone support Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. Feel free to reach out to our team. They're happy to help you with some basic configurations within your phone burner account. But what I would recommend that you do is go to the phone burner university. Lots of great training here, but the training that I'd like you to focus on is down here towards the bottom, the Salesforce training module. This Salesforce training module will walk you through the install, configuration, and setup of the phone burner app in Salesforce helping you get the app installed, get the dispositions configured to not only drop a voicemail, but to also trigger emails automatically based off the outcome of the call. And then walk you through how to set up and start dialing, and even a little overview of how Process Builder can help you take advantage of all of the dispositions that you're clicking on during the dial sessions to automatically update other things within Salesforce based off those outcomes, making your life even easier. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps you start getting more done in less time using the power of Phone Burner. And I look forward to hearing about your success when you post a review in the Salesforce App Exchange. Bye for now, and happy dialing.